Right, here's a wee video just to show you how to um, mount a silver fish battery um, that you get from uh, eBay, one of these kits. Uh, it's a simple silver fish 24 volt, 15 amp power lithium ion battery that's going to replace a 24 volt nickel metal hydrate battery, the old fashioned one that used to be on it. It's kind of lost its ability to power it very far these days. So I've got one of these, I'm going to fit it. I tried it out yesterday, it worked fine. I'm just going to um, show you how to mount the uh, plates that come with it. So um, I've already mounted the uh, plastic bottom plate um, with four screws and um, I pushed the, uh, the wee um, connector here onto it, left a little gap and below, and um, this is the other plate that goes with it. So, the wires come out, I've put them onto spade connectors and made a sort of a basic connection that can be unplugged easily, should I need to change anything. Um, right, so, I've measured it all up, I've tapped a new hole in here that I showed earlier in a video of how to do a basic tap of the thread, and it now accepts an M4, I think it's or an M5 into there, and I've got a hole at the top here that I just put a bolt and nut through. Right, so anyway, here we go, mounting plate, number two. This goes in the bottom of your battery. Fits nicely there, and allows the output to connect onto here. So first of all, here's the plate. Um, I'll slide it through here, and lay it down there. Now, as I say, I've already measured it earlier, so I know roughly what height it's needed to be. This is sitting on here nicely, leaving a little gap in between for the uh, mounting plate and the bolts that I used earlier. Okay, so, um, start off with the new mount that I put in. I'll uh, screw it and attach it in place. Just the height of it, it's got to be up a bit. Go on, put it on a wee bit too tight then. Okay. That sits nicely on here now, nice and snug. that in gently to start with make sure it's all lined up and I want to make sure that the, the locking mechanism on the silverfish battery connects to the top hole here so these um, bolts I'm using have got quite a shallow head on them um, so it doesn't interfere with the uh, plate the slider plate when, it, when the battery goes on So washer, spring washer, and just for extra luck, a nylock nut as well to hold, stop it from loosening off, hopefully. Um, on this bolt down here, I could have used thread lock, but um, there might still be adjustments to make now and again, so I'd rather not make it permanent-ish yet. Um, Right, that looks about right. Let's see. Still got a little bit of slack juice so I can make final amendments to it. 
and that looks pretty good. That's that's nicely connected there. It's nicely set up. So looks good. And as I say, I measured the height earlier. So hopefully the battery will slide in and make connection with the uh, the locking mechanism there. Let's see. bit high so I'll just push it down a bit you know it's a little bit lower right. I have to lift this up slightly and because I haven't tightened it too much I should be able to do that Looks good. Let's see. That's beautifully lined up there. I say there's a wee gap just below that it just allows for the heads of um, the mounting screws and the bottom plate that I've already put on. See if you can see that there. Just to, these um, stick up a little bit, so that this is give you a, it gives you a little bit of a gap here. You can sort of open it. It's a wee bit of adjustable this there. So I've adjusted it slightly up, and here now just should mount up really sweet, which it does. So, slide it in. Locks into place, ready. Job done.